It rained all of last week. We had seven days in a row with rain showers this week different story. Yesterday we broke that rainy streak. Today looking at another dry one and that's going to continue for a while. All thanks to high pressure in play. Well, persistent high pressure resulting in quiet conditions, dry conditions throughout this week and possibly well into next week. Uh, that high pressure also going to provide some warmth. So you'll not start to notice temperatures on the rise. Still looking at some cool nights though. 54 for tonight under a partly cloudy sky with nearly calm winds out of the south. And for tomorrow, up to 80. So we get back to summer-like conditions for a couple days. Thanks to that warmer airflow moving in with the high pressure, winds will be a little breezy tomorrow. Southwest at 20 miles per hour for the wind gusts. But that breezy wind will help boost the temperature up. Now, we are looking at a hazy sky. So while the weather is staying clear and sunny, it's not completely clear because of that haze overhead. And it's all thanks to those numerous large wildfires burning out across the West Coast. They're not expected to get rain at all on the West Coast until possibly the week and really only in Washington and Oregon. The large fires in California are going to continue for a while, and this may be uh, just the start of things moving forward. Uh, how bad this wildfire season is as our climate continues to change and warm. You can see the increase, uh, not necessarily every year, but we're seeing a lot more numerous in the way of very large fires as the temperature goes up. Of course, warmer air usually worsens the drought that results in a lot of dry vegetation, which means explosive wildfire season likely to only get worse as that climate continues to warm, at least on the West Coast. The side effect for us is the hazy to smoky sky. We usually see this throughout the summer, but starting to become more persistent now with those very large fires uh, to our west. Uh, so the hazy conditions will last through tomorrow. We get a slight drawdown on Wednesday. There's going to be a cold front coming through late, and that may help wash the sky out just a little going into Thursday morning. But by Thursday evening, that fire, uh, the fire smoke will continue to pick back up again. So we're looking at that haze to thicken going into th uh, Thursday. For Friday, it draws down a little and we'll just be back and forth with that into the weekend. So while the weather stays clear and dry for us, still look for that haze, which may boost the sunrises and sunsets as well locally. So the colors might be a little more vibrant. Air quality wise, that really doesn't change much for us tomorrow and Thursday. Still looking at good air quality. Wednesday may be down slightly, especially for those that are very sensitive to changes in the air quality. But really, we're not going to feel that many effects at all from the smoke, at least at the ground level. We'll just notice it with the hazy sky overhead. Plenty to talk about with that, as well as the hurricane about to move closer towards New Orleans as we get into the middle of the week. So we're going to track Hurricane Sally and the impacts from that. We're also almost out of storm names. So what happens when the list gets completely filled with tropical storm names? Uh, we'll cover just uh, what the contingency plan is once we run out of names. And then, of course, addressing that wildfire smoke. We'll be live on the WREX Facebook page at 8 p.m. if you want to join in and uh, learn about what's going on around the nation as well as get your questions answered by all of this. Locally, it stays pretty quiet for a while thanks to that high pressure in play. Seven day forecast has sunny but hazy conditions. Note the change in temperature. Cold front coming through Wednesday to Thursday. It comes through dry, but we're dropping down into the 60s for a couple days. We start rising back up as we get into the weekend, almost back to 80 on Monday in your accurate 10 day forecast. Uh, that has that up and down trend continuing. We go up on Monday, but then as you can see, very late next week, we're back down again, possibly down to 62 by next Thursday, Jamie and Krista. All right, feeling like fall again, Alex. Thanks.